Artists need the energy of a city. There are no signs, there are no stickers, uh, no blinking lights. Uh, you gotta, you, in order to find this studio, you need to have an appointment. It's not open to the public. An artist is always looking for inspiration, invention, uh, a, a, a new way, a cutting edge, uh, a way to express themselves um, in an iconic way. You have the inspiration of Picasso, but you have the inventiveness of trying to twist things around and make them new. After you've been painting uh, for 10 years, 20 years or more, you don't have any time for inspiration any longer. You gotta be able to, when you get the time, sit down and get going. You're no longer concerned with developing your style or what kind of a, uh, a circumstance you wanna get involved with, because you've done all that. The main thing is get in there and get the work done and enjoy it. Nice work if you can get it. Da 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 The idea of being a critic and a curator and an artist, I think, strengthens all of the perceptions that you have and allows you to, uh, I think, become a little more articulate about examining others' works. And if you're an artist, your thoughts and vision is expanded by examining other works of art. That's why I love being a critic and I love being able to be a writer for the Huffington Post or simply the best because it helps me get a perspective. The idea that you can take a piece of paper, you can cut it up, rearrange it, and also add a three-dimensional quality with certain devices that an artist uses. It just has, it, it, it calls me, I guess. And any artist worth his salt who continues in one direction needs to be called every day by what they do and stimulate it. it. Whether it's a landscape painter that feels he needs to get out into the woods and set up an easel, he's called for that. Or a street artist that needs to find a, a blank wall. Uh, for me, it's a blank canvas. And I'm very excited about that.